Hey, welcome back to Ping Pong Flakes. My name is Chris Wong. First of all, this poster, wow, <laughs> and the banner you kind of see down below my face, awesome. This is what we want. We want to see Superman, the official Superman, not the manipulations that people have done. Although you guys are really good at Photoshop, by the way, but this is the official Superman finally joining the Justice League in the poster, in the banner, and hopefully, I mean, hopefully they, he joins the TV spots and the trailers because I think you played your hand. It didn't really do too good in the box office. Let's show your cards, get your trump card out, bring out Superman in the marketing and I think they're finally starting to that, but this is coming into Thanksgiving weekend. I, I hope they're putting into the TV spots by now to show people that Superman's in this movie. Because believe it or not, I've met a bunch of people here in little old Hawaii that said they're not going to watch the movie because what kind of Justice League movie is without Superman? And I had to convince them, Superman's in this movie. I show them pictures, Superman's in this movie. And they went to go see it. So if little old Hawaii has that kind of people here... Imagine the continental USA. I'm just saying. There might be a population out there who are just not going to see this movie because Superman's not in it. But he is in it, and I'm glad they're finally showing him off because he deserves every bit. He is OP in this movie, and that is the Superman I want. The one that can totally flip off every single person, everything, and comes down to Steppenwolf, and he's taking Steppenwolf down like there's no tomorrow, you know, he's not, he's unstoppable in this, he's happy, he's unstoppable, this is Superman, completes his full arc, and I can't be more happy, but let's see what's going on, this is kind of like an update, because we're going to Thanksgiving weekend, and I just want to know, is this movie going to do well over Thanksgiving weekend? Will this be well? Well, I just want to go ahead and point out one little thing in Rotten Tomatoes. Because if you've been watching Rotten Tomatoes, um, it has actually jumped up from 37 to 41. Some reviewers, like about 20 of them, started coming in giving a positive reviews. I don't know if it's going to go up or not, but that's a good sign. I mean, 41, that's pretty good. Uh, considering that we had, what, 37, 36 before? So going up, that's great. Uh, and I just want to point out, it, it's the Rotten Tomatoes is an aggregate. You all know this if you've been following my channel. So 106 of these 260 people actually like the movie. They give it a fresh score. Uh, 106,000 ratings have gotten a pretty positive mostly positive 84 percent positive so you see the distinction there between uh, rotten and fresh and that's that's interesting because a lot of these other critics who are who rated it fresh and some of them are still rating it um, rotten tomatoes has rated rotten it even though they gave it a fresh review so there is something wrong here that we're not quite sure of but uh, even some critics who've, who've already put in their reviews have said that their own colleagues are seem to be judging it more uh, cruelly and negative than they should be so they're not sure why that is in itself but let's I, I don't want to talk too much about scores and here and there you like it I like it people don't like it it's all subjective everybody likes or whatever things like that but let's talk about the money here because this is the business sense of me I love for m movies that do well or not do well I, I like to go into the box office right uh, I've done this for the other ones too I've done this for Wonder Woman I've done this for Power Rangers uh, I like to go into this type of, of talk because it's it's about money and I'm more of a business sense anyway so uh, Ron Tomino says that this is a Thanksgiving weekend four day weekend people are thinking you know maybe people didn't get to watch Justice League this past week and maybe they'll get to watch it this weekend so we'll see well uh box office mojo they they do their little predictions sometimes they're right sometimes they're wrong sometimes they're off by a few million dollars but they're predicting that uh justice league will call fall to second place uh dropping around 56 percent for a three-day round of 42 million um and this is their three-day weekend forecast and this is only because coco's coming out i mean i totally forgot coco was coming out uh, Coco is a Pixar film, you know, it's a, a family film, people go out to watch the theaters, but I totally forgot it was in a film, and it was totally, I thought it was a free weekend for Justice League, but apparently not, uh, Coco is here, and that is a family movie, uh, although my own children have seen the Coco previews, and they're like zero interest, but so we'll, 
uh, interesting. I mean, they were more, they wanted to see Moana, but didn't care for Coco. So um, we'll see how this plays out uh, this weekend, if at all, Justice League makes that plunge. I know Grace Randolph did a whole video, and you can check her out, her movie math. She compared Justice League to the Harry Potter, uh, what was that, the, the Fantastic Beasts. And at that same weekend, uh, Moana came out. So Moana did 60 million, and then uh, Fantastic Beasts actually only dropped 40% from the weekend from before. So uh, we could actually see that happen again. That'd be great for Justice League if Justice League only comes down a few notch. Uh, that would be great for its box office number, great for its legs. Um, apparently, there is still a little bit of positive word of mouth, although a lot of people who watched Batman v Superman didn't like Batman v Superman are not coming out to see Justice League just because they've already made up their mind. Um, and that's unfortunate because uh, for people who didn't like Batman v Superman or Man of Steel um, and came to the watch Justice League, they actually like Justice League better. That's the type of tone that they want. And on the other flip is that people who love those two other movies went to Justice League and they didn't quite like what they saw there and are now uh, petitioning for a Zack Snyder, Snyder cut. Whether we get there or not, I don't know. But I have a whole video on that, so you can check that out. But this is just talking about box office numbers. So Coco, 51 million. Justice League, 42. Um, it seems 50, around 40 to 50 percent is a good holding place, I think. Um, if it does that 70, 60, 70 percent drop, then... Um, Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad does then it's it's gonna be coming crashing down a lot now everybody talks about how domestic numbers domestic numbers domestic numbers um, I just want to give maybe a positive light on this whether uh, it really is positive or not uh, it remains to be seen until the end of the run but for now um, this opened up uh, worldwide except I think Japan uh, domestic is 101 foreign is 185 worldwide 286 so everybody's looking at domestic or actually it was like 94 right and so this includes Monday um, I just I like to look at the charts and the rankings um, and it, it, if, if it eases your mind you can go ahead and look at that too but let's look at worldwide opening because I know we're all America centric but I'm worldwide because worldwide makes it count worldwide makes it a billion dollars not America America flops here from 100 to 400 million you know but worldwide makes a difference I mean it's a big chunk don't get me wrong America is a big chunk but so is China and everybody else so let's go into this so worldwide opening these are the hits worldwide opening feeling furious 541 star wars 529 you know big big chunks so out of 142 movies here justice league where are you at justice league is currently at number 24 278 million worldwide uh, 66 percent of the movie is tapped in that market of that opening so that's a quite a big number that's a big number 278 if you compare it to look at look who's right below it I mean uh, if it gives you any peace Twilight Saga New Moon Hunger Games Mocking Jay Christmas Skull Suicide Squad was even below that X-Men Days of Future Past X-Men Days of Future Past that's like a 90 something percent critical rating a cinema score so uh, all those scores it really doesn't matter for some it, it, it doesn't matter too much Spider-Man Homecoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Dark Knight Rises Lord of the Rings you know all of these but of course you gotta get into the account this uh, how much percentage did it open um, this is higher Pirates in the Caribbean um, Days of Future Past. Let's look at that because that seems to be the closest one here. Um, let's see. So that ultimately ended up at 747 million worldwide. So opening weekend was also 90 million. So that's just below that. So if you look at that spin, that's a group film too, although it's not as big as Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. But if you want to look at that, uh, I think I think it will do fine. It's not going to be the record-breaking uh, movie but it will make money um, so I think we're over exaggerating uh, reboots here and there uh, reboots only happen if if Justice League plummets to like fantastic four levels okay <laughs> if that plummets to that level then yeah but I think it's not gonna go there I don't, I don't think it will I hope not 
because uh, that means if that makes more money, they're going to keep making more D16 universe. And I would love to see where it goes from here. I would love to see. I don't want it to die. I want Henry Cavill to be Superman forever. So uh, I would love to see this go on. And if I'm just showing you this to give you any peace of mind of where this movie may be headed. Oh, here, Fantastic Beasts, where to find them? 814 million. That if if that trajectory is what uh, Grace Randolph is thinking at 66 percent. Of course, that had a better Rotten Tomato score. But if you take out that factor, 219 million, and that was at 66 um, percent. You click on it, and the entire take opening weekend was only 74, 814. So and that's getting a sequel. So take that what you will. Um, uh, Man of Steel is still below that, so I think I think we're gonna be okay in the long run. Uh, we'll find out more. I mean, after this weekend, and you see that seventy like percent drop, then you say, ooh, you know, that might be not good. But you have, to, I wonder how much of um, the international market will stay put. So, it, I mean, open number one in like Brazil and in all these other countries. So uh, apparently, they don't share the much hatred of as much as America will uh, and and I think that's going good for it is that even though it's slightly diminishing in America it's uh, foreign totals are picking it up so we'll see a lot more coming out of it and this is the foreign total here so all right well I hope this is a good weekend for Justice League I hate to see this lose momentum and I hate to see it go down to depths I mean it's such a big movie you know it's we finally get to see justice league for the first time on live screen action uh it should should have been an event and i think it is an event for a lot of people including myself so i hate to see this die out being some you know mediocre movie that uh nobody ever wants to watch and or made up their mind about the movie before even watching it. I mean, you can't really judge a movie until you actually watch it. So I encourage people to go watch it. And yes, Superman's in this film. So if you are dying to watch a Justice League movie and your only reason to watch one is to see Superman, then then this is it. Superman's back in this movie. You get to come see him complete his arc. Please go out and watch Justice League this weekend. Have a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope I see you. Hopefully, I think I'll make a video uh, sometime this weekend, but I'm not sure when. But please, eat a lot. Be with your family and be thankful that we've got to see Justice League finally on the big screen. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for uh, watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.